Welcome to Vintage Variety. Today I'm going to take you all along with me as I go antiquing in the city of Monroe, Georgia. Monroe was originally called Spring Place. The town was later renamed Monroe after James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States. The town is often referred to as the City of Governors because four Georgia governors grew up here. I also noticed a billboard sign in this town that boasts this town as being the Georgia capital of antiques. I can't say if that's true or not, but there are quite a few antique stores in this town. Today, we're going to visit two of them, Vintage Revival Antiques and the Cotton Depot. The first store that I'm going to check out is the Cotton Depot, and if we have enough time, I'll also show you the Vintage Revival. So we're inside the Cotton Depot and I really like this little booth. I like the way they've got it set up. And of course they have quite a few pieces of milk glass. Anytime I visit an antique store, a thrift store, or even a resale store, I always like to look at everything they have to offer. So come along with me and let's just browse and see if we run across anything that's really good. Of course, I'm going to be looking for pieces of jewelry but that doesn't mean we can't look at everything. I've spotted some jewelry. Let's step over here and have a look at it. This is a faux pearl necklace. I believe it's just a little pricey. This one's beautiful though. Look at the clasp on that. A vintage compact. That's not a bad price, and it's in really good condition. This is, this is a ring. And then they have some brooches. I really like this one. I also like these earrings. Quite a few brooches. Quite a few rings in this booth. We're in a different booth now. Most of these are just modern costume jewelry rings. I like the one with the blue enameling on it. Isn't that pretty? I would wear it anyway. So I think this booth mostly has modern costume jewelry pieces. I don't have anything against modern jewelry. That's not really what I'm looking for today. I do like the earrings. These are vintage beads. Have a good look at them. I don't really see anything that I want to purchase. It never hurts to look. Some more pieces of modern jewelry. So some of these pieces are vintage. I think it's kind of a mix cameo bracelet, but this is not vintage and pretty common, really. A vintage floral pin. And lots and lots of earrings. kind of cheaply made but it's still a pretty necklace some more pieces in the case and again they have some modern pieces and they have a few vintage pieces that are mixed in with them so this is a hodgepodge of items 
I'm gonna look through this and see if I see anything that would be worth purchasing. Some vintage clip-ons, unsigned. Plastic earrings. Not sure what all of that is. I think it's a necklace. This is really pretty, but it has a big chip out of the front of it. If it wasn't chipped, I would probably purchase this piece. This is a grab bag of jewelry parts. Transferware. A little vintage bag. Some more jewelry, but none of this is really good quality. They've got little grab bags made up of different items. That's kind of a cute idea, isn't it? I know what these are. Do you guys remember those beads that you could hang like curtains? This is a belly dancer's belt. Some more milk glass pieces. Old buttons. I remember these ice trays from when I was a kid. Really reasonable prices on all of these kitchen items here if someone were into collecting that kind of thing. Now this is really neat, guys. Look at this. They've taken salt and pepper shakers and things like that and they've made little hanging ornaments out of them. What a great idea. Wow, get a load of this. So this entire booth has some really nice pieces of antique furniture. Zoom out so you can get a better look. There's another piece. Really nice setup. Look at all the old hats. I just love old hats. This booth is full of vintage clothing and accessories. Lots and lots of purses and handbags. Look at that fur coat. They have quite a selection here of vintage clothing. I'm trying to move slowly so you guys can get a good view of everything. Look at this robe. I think that's pretty cool. And it's also reversible. It's gold on the inside. So it can be turned inside out and worn the other way.
some sunglasses. Look at all those floral pins. I like the way they've got them arranged in the case. And below they have some very old vintage purses. I have a purse like the clear Lucite purse in the back. Very nice. A belt. Some vintage beads, but these aren't really good quality. The green ones, those are those plastic beads that are like melted onto the cord. A few more items. This booth kind of leans into the other booth. Maybe the same person owns them. I really like this dress. Isn't that pretty? And here is another one. Aurora Borealis necklace. Some really nice pieces in this case. I see some mosaic, cameo, wow, look at that, it's huge, a huge old comb. Ah, I see some Juliana. Do you guys see that? Sajin. That's really nice. Zoom in so you guys can get a better look. That's a Juliana piece that was done for Avon. I have that piece. I have some of these at home. These came from Mexico and they're probably from like the 2000s. And some jewelry jars, wow. So the big jars are about $50, and they have quite a selection of them. I'm kind of leery about buying jewelry jars, mainly because usually you'll have just a couple of good pieces, and the rest of it's not that great. Not something I want to invest $50 into just for a couple of pieces, but I think this is pretty nice the way they've done them all up. I see a few good pieces in some of these jars, but a lot of it's just, you know, run-of-the-mill cheap stuff. They also have some smaller ones for about $30. This is nice. They have all the pins on this bust. More jewelry jars. I have a necklace like this at home. This is Avon. All of the pieces in this booth are really well marked. If they're designer, it states that they're designer. This is an Avon piece. This is Barrera for Avon. So this person really does know their jewelry. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I got in this store, and I'll also do a part two showing what I got at the other antique store. I did not get a large haul from this antique store, but I did pick up a few good items. 
a lot of their items were a little bit too pricey. Some of them were items that I already had or had something that was very similar to. So I'm gonna show you what I got starting with these beautiful bangle bracelets. I got all of these out of the same booth. These are J. Crew. I really like this pink enameled bracelet. It has a nautical theme, and a lot of times with jewelry like this, it'll be red or blue or white. So I really liked that this was pink. I just really like the look of it. I like the pink enameling. I like the white anchor, and I also like that it's a wider bracelet. J. Crew makes some really good jewelry. I have quite a few pieces in my collection already. And they're pretty good quality, especially the older pieces of J. Crew. There's the marking on the inside of this one, J. Crew. I was really delighted to see that they had three of these bracelets and they were all a very reasonable price. So I decided to pick up all three of them. This one is also enameled. And you can see that there's a peachy pink color and a blue color. I really like the peachy pink color. I think that it can be combined with the larger bracelet and they could be worn together or it could be worn by itself. And this one is also marked J. Crew. That's how these two would look combined together. I think they would look really good. Let me know what you think in the comments. I think that they would go together well because they're in the same color family. Then I picked up this navy blue one. It's also marked J. Crew. It's enameled like the others. And I thought this was also a really good buy. I think that this would look pretty combined all together, or you could wear them separately. I also picked up this little necklace. This was in the same booth as the bangles. This necklace is marked Japan. I mentioned in previous content how often the pieces that are signed Japan or Hong Kong are overlooked, but I feel like that these pieces are very much worth collecting. This one is done in plastic beads, but it's a very well-made piece of jewelry, and I really liked the color combination in this necklace. Here's a look at this necklace on the form. It does have a short drop, but I think this would be a really great piece for layering with other necklaces. This necklace was in the booth with all of the vintage clothing, and when I spotted it, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the beads on this. This is an unsigned piece. It has a fold-over clasp, but I really liked the way this necklace looked. I was really surprised when I looked at this necklace and saw that it was unsigned, because by the looks of it, it looks very designer, and it's very well made. This necklace is a double strand necklace and all of the beads on this necklace are glass, including these with the mirrored finish. I really like these beads. I think that it's beautiful the way they've done them with the gold trim on them. Here's a better look at this necklace on the form. This necklace is a great statement piece to wear by itself, but it's also a great piece to layer with other necklaces. This would layer well with gold chains, pearls, black glass beads, or you could even layer it with a necklace that had clear lucite beads. I felt like this was a great item and I was really thrilled that I found it. In the same booth, I ran across this beautiful Monet necklace. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I do have a decent sized collection of Monet jewelry. This necklace has the Monet sister clasp. And as soon as I saw the clasp on this, I knew that it was Monet. This necklace is marked on the clasp and it also has the cartouche on it that shows the Monet marking. Here's a better look at this necklace on the form. It is a shorter length. Again, this would make a great piece for layering. I decided to purchase this one because I do not have anything like this in my Monet collection. I do have some beads in my collection, but none of them have this clear look to them. This beautiful gold tone necklace is absolutely gorgeous. I love all of the glass beads combined with the pearls on this. And when I picked this up and started looking at it, I was very excited because this necklace is actually a Kenneth J. Lane. I do have a few pieces of Kenneth J. Lane jewelry in my collection. I'm always looking to add more. This one is a vintage Kenneth J. Lane. You can see it has the barrel clasp on it. 
they do still make Kenneth J. Lane jewelry, and their jewelry is of really good quality, but I'm always on the lookout for the vintage pieces. This necklace is marked. You can see the cartouche with the Kenneth J. Lane name. It needs to be cleaned up just a little bit, but that's no big deal. It's in excellent condition. Here is a better look at this necklace on the form. I feel like Kenneth J. Lane was an absolute genius when it came to designing jewelry. I have done content on him. I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested. But I feel like this was one of the best pieces that I found in the antique store today. This is the last item that I purchased at this store. This is not jewelry, it's more of an accessory. I do have quite a collection of vintage and antique handbags. I wanted to pick this up to add to them. I love the purse strap on this, it's a gold chain. These little box purses are so cute and it's something that I like to use, so I knew it wouldn't be a waste of my money. This one's done in plastic. You can see on the inside that it's in really pristine condition. So I thought, why not? I picked it up and this will go great with my collection of vintage and antique purses. I did not pick up a lot of items at that store as I've already mentioned, but the items that you see here, this is a sneak peek at the items that I picked up at the other antique store in that town. That antique store had a lot of booths that I believe were either clearancing out items that hadn't been selling or they were going out of business. So I got a great haul at that store. I got a lot of items at some really good prices and that content will be coming up next. So definitely keep an eye out for that. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to go antiquing with me and to share all these wonderful items. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell for notification on more content about collecting vintage and antique items. Thank you again for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day.